Hello y'all and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're doing over today's item shop being the first of the four trends today for the chat outs in the shop. So you can see we have Cat here. This is her second uh, legacy style being Cataclysm Legacy for all her cosmetics. So if you bought got her last month you'll get this version. If you have the current Fortnite tree. Then we have Lana uh, uh, Lana Lamar with her Auric style for all her cosmetics. Then we have uh, Faye's Legacy for Sly Hits for all his cosmetics too. Then we have Skull Scout here in a Rimbound Legacy. Looks pretty nice for all her cosmetics. Then we have the new Fortnite crew being Ares. He looks absolutely amazing here. This is his new letter style. Looks pretty cool. And then he comes with the War Warriors Tate Battling here for Chapter 5 Scene 2. And same with the Pickaxe, the Immortal War Daru. And then finally, we have a uh, Dragon Seal Hybrid with Cosmic Legacy style. If you've had him for the six months and have been having the crew the entire time. But yeah, those are all the crew stuff you should receive. Now let's check out the shop. You see we have all of my... Uh, Mellowverse, Euphoria, Marvel, then we have Tactical Jokes here, we have Diamond Hands here from Chapter 2, Scene 6, this is his Ocel, and he comes to the Danes Battling, then we have Texan, then we have Tex Flamingo here from Chapter 5, Scene 1, this is his Ocel, and he comes to Fl Flambado Battling, then we have Sergeant Drake here from Chapter 5, Scene 1, this is his Ocel, and he comes to the D Duffel Battling, then we have Budge here from Chapter 5 and 1, the best bird skin out of them all. This is his little style in terms of the squat sack battling. And then we have the Cosmic Peck Axe here, also from Chapter 5 and 1. Pretty nice. Then we have the Fish Tip Bundle here. It comes with the Fish Tip skin here from Scene 7. He has the Pirates and VR Edit Styles. This is his little style. And it comes with the Saltwater Satchel Battling. Then we have Cold Cruiser here from Scene 7. Same with the Bootstrap. Pickaxe here. Then we have our uh, fish flourish here from see from chapter four scene two. Then we have slippy here from scene nine. Fish face here from season nine, and fishy here from scene nine. And then we have meet me in the sticks uh, music pack two. Also from chapter five. Also from chapter four scene two. You can get it all separately too. Then we have the stacked bundle here back. It comes with the beef boss skin here from season five. This is his little style. And here comes the deep fried battling. Then we have the paddy whacker here from scene 5. Then we have sizzle here from chapter 2, scene 3. This is her little style. And then we have flying saucer here from chapter 1, scene 5. You can get it all separately too. Then we have the golden king stuff. Then we have Orbi, Orberry, Audrey. I think that's how you say her name. But she is a new stint. She is from Chapter 5, Sin 2, and has the glasses off. It's style. She kind, of, she kind of reminds me of Sky. I don't know why she just does. This is her little style, and she has the pop dog battling. She looks pretty cool. And then we have the Bratstin here back from Chapter 2, Sin 1. Here's the hat off Ed style. This is his little style, and here's the loose lint chontrail. Then we have the Duffel Dog here from Chapter 2, Sin 7. It has the Chili Duffel Dog, Mustard Duffel Dog, Classic Duffel Dog, and Deluxe Duffel Dog, Ed Styles. And then we have the Not Waster Pidats here from Sin 9 too. Then we have uh, the Danger Ducks bundle here. It comes with the Med Stin here from Chapter 2, Sin 6. This is her little style, and she comes with the Quick Crack Ed Style. So, quick trap back lane. Fun fact about these tins, they get battle damaged over time during games. Just telling you that, it's a fun fact. Then we have Wesper here from Chapter 2, Scene 6 2. This is his own style, and he comes with a mech, uh, mecha feathers back lane. Then we have the Quack Hammer here from Chapter 2, Scene 6, and same with the Quack Up Wrap here. You can get it all separately too. Pretty nice Easter slash Halloween tins, kind of. Then we have Miss Bunny Penny here. I didn't go over it yesterday, but it was in the shop yesterday, but yeah. Miss Bunny Penny is from Chapter 4, Scene 2, and this is her little style. Then we have Hopperty here from Chapter 2, Scene 2. It looks very weird. Then we have Bunny Moon here from Season 6, and this is her little style. What the heck? We didn't edit the, we didn't edit the Lego stuff. The Lego scenes have edit styles? I just discovered that. Then we have Bun Bun here from Chapter 2, Season 2. 
This is his own cell. No, it does not have it at cell. And he has the cho the cocoa shell battling and the chocolatey wrap is also here for chapter two season two. You can get Stepley too. That's so cool. They don't seem to have styles. And then we have and then we have the rest of the Easter stin same with Azuki. Then we have our uh, trailblazers with modal master here from scene two. This is her herself. And she comes with the modal Steve Bad Battling. Then we have Steve Boot here from scene two. Then we have Mika here from scene nine. This is her herself. No Edsar. I want to see if one does. Then we have Star Lee here from season X. This is her herself. In terms of the Starlit Battling. Then we have Party Diva here from chapter two, scene three. She's the Dream Edsar. This is her other style. Oh, it does have a base style too. That's kind of cool. So, multiple will have it. Then we have two the Beat Bash, Wukong, Red Knight, Take 14, Switch Step. We also have Dark Bomber here back from Sin 6. This is her other style. And she has the Dark Bad back thing. Thunder Crash and Dark Death were here yesterday too. But in demo separately too. Then we have Lantern Fest with the brand new Bandurix X Lock Bundle. He chose the PJ Pepperoni stint. I think it's a he. I'll just say they. This is uh, her letter style in terms of the base edit style. Then we have the cheesy back plane here from Sin X. Here's the cheese edit style. Then we have Paddy Whacker here from Sin 5. And Flying Saucer here also from Sin 5. And finally we have Rage Crit here from Sin X. You can get all set too. Then we have Lady Dada, Gear for Festival. We have the brand new Budoid uh, symph Symphonic uh, guitar here from Chapter 5, Scene 2. Looks pretty cool. Then we have uh, the mic still here. And we also have the pincer instrument here back from Chapter 5, Scene 2. Too. Then we have all the jam chats as normal. So engines the same. Lego kits are the same. I'm not. And then we have the brand new Fortnite crew. I'll just drive it one more time. But we have Ares here from Chapter 5, Scene 2. He has the War God Legacy, the Orc Legacy, the Phase Legacy, the Rimbound Legacy, and the Cosmic Legacy Exiles. This is his Osal, and he has the Warriors Tech Backlone. We have the War God Legacy, Orc Legacy, Phase Legacy, Rimbound Legacy, and Cosmic Legacy Exiles. This is his Osal, and he has the Immortal War uh, Pinats here with the War God Legacy, Orc Legacy, Phase Legacy, Rimbound Legacy, and Cosmic Legacy Exiles. So yeah, that says Item Shop. You might be wondering, where the fuck is Kratos Shrub Hub? Do you click paying us? Well, if you didn't know, pay attention to the date I said. April 1st. What is that? That is April Fools. What do you expect me to... Uh, I, this is a tradition. I did it last year too. Kratos was not in the shop because it's April goddamn fools for us Australians. And it works every year on you guys. But yeah. That says I'm shocked. The heart is that we had the brand new Fortnite crew. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.